Welcome everyone to the video where I'm going to explain one of the strategies that changed my view on the whole market. The strategy is breakouts and you can see the screenshot of one of the trades that was taken by one of my mentees right here. I use this strategy to play the break of major levels such as daily levels or 60 minute chart levels and on ai around here you could see that on the 30th of march the stock broke a clear resistance level or small range that it was forming on the daily chart and for the first 31st of march there's literally no resistance ahead of you all the way to the potential target which makes this stock based on the daily chart a great selection to play a breakout on the 31st of march on the 60 minute chart you can see that there is a range on the pre-market and that is our second important criteria having a clear range on the 60 minute chart you need that so that you can play the break of that range and obviously if the stock breaks a major resistance level there would be no room ahead of you and the stock could get momentum all the way to the potential target on the five minute chart you need to make sure that you're not chasing stock and one of the things that i usually follow is the three candles rule i need to make sure that my entry is on the first five minute candle or during the second five minute candle i usually do not enter on the third five minute candle because the stock could usually pull back after that and on ai around here you could see that the entry was on the second five minute candle which makes this one a great candidate to play since the deal is good the 60 is good and the timing based on the five minute chart is great now let's actually recap this trade using trading terminal to show you how we can time the entry and where is the potential target. So looking at the pre-market price action, we can clearly see that there is a level approximately at 27.98. It is the high of the pre-market and that is the level that we might want to play the breakout from. After the market open, you could see that AI is clearly holding below this level around here. It's holding below the pre-market level and it is holding within yesterday's range, which is why we do not wanna play it. You could now clearly see that AI is approaching the level which is sitting at 27.98 and on the five minute chart, that is the second five minute candle. So this is the first consecutive five minute candle. This is the second consecutive five minute candle which we are looking at to get our entry. If that was the third five minute candle, I would not have played it. Now, one of the things that you could do is you could instantly enter around here for the breakout or you could wait for the breakout for a better entry after a better confirmation. Obviously waiting for the breakout, you might get some slippage and you might miss the move. So usually what I do is I initiate the move before we break, especially that we have a decent confirmation and I have a really wide stop loss, which is at the low of this range. Usually your stop loss is at the low of this range if you enter before the breakout area. And after the breakout area, you could move your stop loss to the middle of the range. So what we could do right now is wait for the break of the range, add to the position, and then move your stop loss to the middle of the range. A few minutes later, AI pulled back to the pre-market high, and this is one of the market stages. Range, breakout, retest trend. So if around the retest area you're getting some confirmation candles, such as a doji or a green candle, you could add to your position and move your stop loss to the retest area. Obviously, we did not do that just to be safe, but this is one of the things that you could do. Regarding the target, we usually use the average true range. So the average true range on AI is $2, which means that we could run from $27.20 all the way to $29.20. So once we start reaching the $21.20-ish area or closer to it, you could start locking in some profits. Usually, I exit most of my position around here, and a lot of times I partial all the way up with the final target at 29.25. But you could usually scale in or you could hold on with one entry and one exit if you want to maximize your risk to reward ratio. So that's the way that the usual trade breakouts. To recap, the first thing you need to see is a clear trend on the daily chart or a pattern on the daily chart or a clear confirmation candle on the previous day that tells you that today you could have continuation. Plus you also should have some room to the potential target. Second thing you wanna find is a clear range on the 60 minute chart that you could play the break off so that you can get some momentum and make sure that you're entering at the beginning of the 60 minute range. The third thing that you wanna see is a clear pattern on the five minute chart or make sure that the breakout happens during the first or the second five minute candle. 
Once you get your entry, you hold on to your target, which is 0.4 and which could be the move based on the average through range. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to learn more about this strategy, make sure to join us at birgotraders.com where I explain this strategy in detail. Make sure to also practice your trading using tradingterminal.com. The replay is free and you can practice literally anytime. There is a real-time market simulator and there is also a replay where you can practice stocks from the past. You can find potential stocks in play using market replay at beerabletraders.com where you can see moderators watch this for the past six months and you can practice trading these stocks whenever you got some free time during weekends or during the day. And finally, if you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment below and I'll see you in the next video.